So Hearts of Iron 4 is a game where you play as a country during World War II. Fallout is a nuclear post-apocalyptic survival politics gambling RPG where you experience the wasteland that game devs in the 2000s thought game devs in the 90s thought people in the 50s thought would exist in the 2200s. My Little Pony is a TV show about magic cartoon ponies who defeat their enemies with the power of friendship. Fallout Equestria Equestria is a fan fiction combining Fallout and My Little Pony. Old World Blues is a Hoi 4 Fallout mod. Equestria at War is a Hoi 4 My Little Pony mod. And now, <laughs> Balefire Blues is a dual sub mod for both Old World Blues and Equestria War that's loosely based on the Fallout Equestria fan fiction. Hope you all understood that, um, and thanks for watching the video. But no, here we are in the mod itself. I haven't played this since an early access version, but it's a well-made mod. Most people just play as the slavers. Most other playthroughs on YouTube I've seen have played as them. Most people who I've talked to who've played this mod have played as them. I have not played as them, but I will not be playing as them today. And despite how tempted I am to play as this abomination, we're going to be playing today as the Enclave. And not the Enclave in Fallout, the Enclave in Hoi 4 Fallout My Little Pony called Navarro, you know. But as you can see here, we're in control of a small enclave, you could say, here between the Hayseed Walkers and Hayseed Cult. So I think we should play as them and see what's going on. Okay, another note is do not try to read this font. Just don't try to read it. At least the date is kind of readable, which is good. So as we do our focuses, we will click on the focus and read the normal font today. And quick summary of the Enclave. They're trying to restore America. Well, not America in this context, but in, in the general context, they were trying to restore America, but they're the bad guys. But they're very patriotic and we all love them and worship them. So I'm guessing this enclave is trying to restore Equestria, M maybe? And this mod, it uses the Old World Blues tech tree, mainly, but with the Equestria at War species research mechanic. Okay, so a bale fire bombs are the nukes and the enclave was created by Pegasi flying into the sky I, um, away from the nukes, I guess. I guess that's kind of a way to avoid most of the problems is if you just go into the sky, you know, above the cloud. Oh, never mind that. Um, the, the cloud city blew up too. I'm, I'm sorry to report. And the country beneath us is being justified on by the country above us. So uh, hopefully we're able to take advantage of this situation. We're not allowed to manually justify warbles until 100% world tension. So we'll have to see what happens. Four ideologies in this mod are continuing Continuation, destruction, visionary, and survivalism. And I think we're gonna go with the visionary path. Well, I guess whatever this is is also visionary, so we might we might not want to go the visionary path. It just seems like the Enclave Senate is more democratic than the Enclave Council, but I don't know. We'll s I'm sure we'll figure out soon from the lore. Yeah, the leader of visionary is a reformist. So yeah, he is the like a good enclave. And I'm referencing referencing Good Enclave in the context of another submod for Old World Blues, which adds the Enclave to Old World Blues, and then there's a Good Enclave path. Now we get to do Election Day and get a Functional Senate. And we're addressing resource scarcity, but we notably have a lot of resources, so resource scarcity isn't really that much of a problem. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll get a few more resources. You also have to love the pony power armor. The best thing I've seen in a very long time. I really can't believe how many events there are though and how long the events are. Okay, and our leader is corrupt, so we're going to remove him. And any uh, respectable leader of the Enclave needs attire such as that. So we'll find a lot of evidence. The council will become weak. The Senate will become strong. He was declared guilty and now we're led by the emergency council. But I think I know who's going to rise to the challenge of forming a new government. Yep. 
<laughs> there he is. So what we will want to do here is the Senate gives us a lot of political power and very cheap advisors. So we will fill up our cabinet with advisors and then we will merge the council and the Senate, which gets rid of the dominant Senate thing. And then we can actually have some more support. So it works out in the end. But see, I like where this is going. I have a good feeling about this. We've become the Senate. We're going to restore Pony America. Hoi 4, Fallout, and My Little Pony had to merge for a reason, and this is obviously that very important reason. But uh, don't worry, because there are birds in this too. Um, I was kind of surprised. For some reason, this portrait's animated, which kind of scared me. Luckily, I wasn't recording, so I don't feel guilty not including my reaction. I don't think anything else is animated, though. I think it's just that one. There it is. The unity, the, the hive mind is declaring wars. No, they're not there. That's the vault. Yeah, here they are. <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna do. They, they might be our endgame foe, despite us being the same ideology. But I don't know, maybe we can become friends with them. Okay, so now we're going to put the council under permanent oversight so that we can eventually merge the council and th the senate so that we can have more war support. And we have a lot of decisions here. We'll distribute water only once because the more we do it, the less water production we have and then we will hold a speech. These will help us get stability, and then we have decisions to increase war support too, but I prefer not to do them because you can only do them at the cost of stability. So the slavers are expanding their territory, and we're kind of just being nice here. Since we elected the good guys, we're just performing the military reforming industry. I don't know exactly what we're going to do. Also, yeah, the unity is expanding further. I guess we'll just become really strong and maybe send volunteers. But this is actually the very cute, mega wholesome path where we're debunking the glory of war. Yeah, this is um, it's quite the hot and brave move for a country in a war game. So here's my plan. As the good wholesome guys, we'll just destroy our enemies before they even get to us. Um, we're gonna destroy the unity. I don't think they'll be able to stop our power armor, whatever. And we are going to do the Bright Minds program, which will give us 30% more research speed. Not that research is that important for us if we're not gonna go to war. I think conflict might come to our doorstep, though, if I had to guess. These guys really didn't want to accept my volunteers, though. I had to improve relations and stuff just to get them to let us save them. Well, I think we did it. We've encircled a lot of their divisions and the rest have been encircled by uh, Ponyville Raiders who I should mention they themselves are probably not good guys and their ideology is destruction unlike the unity which has our ideology. So honestly maybe I'm helping the wrong side but I'm kind of just assuming that the unity is evil. That'd be kind of funny though if they were actually the good guys and I was hoping the bad guys win right now. That would be quite the story though. And so now here we're finally going to make people stop hating us because we're the boogeyman of the world, the creepy enclave, but not anymore. We're going to change that up. We're also sending volunteers to the cult to help them beat the workers. I don't know. This is an offensive war by the cult, but the cult is our ideology. So I guess the unity was our ideology too. They're both involved in the slave trade, but the North is using a slave army. So I think that's slightly worse. It's very, very hard to judge morality here though. We might be the only good guys in the world and we just started being good guys a few months back. Now we're finally going to establish a free press, freedom of speech, tell the people the truth instead of our extremely authoritarian Ingsoc-ish media. And in our wholesome nature, we started an aid program to the cult and now the cult has become our puppet. See, I guess it's not so bad being the good guys that lifting a finger or a hoof. We've already got some new land, made a new friend instead of an enemy. We're making profits from the stock market and we've now integrated them. Uh, that's a very nice. I don't know what we'll do with other people because I doubt we'll be going to war. Red Eye changed the area's name to the Red Eye Empire and 
but then this guy took over, so um, I guess they really like being uh, slavers. So we'll see what happens. They have quite the strong faction that includes most of the world. Okay, and now here we proclaim the Republic of New Cloudsdale. I don't really think that changes too much besides our name, but now we can start the sunshine trade instead of the slave trade. I don't know if other people will buy into that, but we can try. Oh, and I should mention too, in this mod there are mega spells. I don't think we can use anything. Okay, and the NCR is getting destroyed, so we're going to um try to save what land of theirs we can, right? Well, and we did a few decisions to buy this territory here. We got this territory here from the NCR, and we puppeted New Merway. Also, we got a radio transmission from across the sea that there's another nuclear war or bale fire war going on there. So I guess, you know, history repeats itself, but we're doing pretty good right here. But yes, that's all for today. This is a very interesting mod that's a combination of a lot of other uh, things. Maybe we can play more of it or check out other smaller mods that I haven't played in a very long time. But anyways, I will see you all next time.